Hello, let's begin this tutorial on creating a simple schematic for the robot used in the lab. First thing that we'll search for is a voltage regulator. So to do that, you come up to place, go to component, you want to make sure that you're in the master database, and we're going to do search. It's going to be under component, and we're going to search for LM7805. and it does find it and then you basically say okay and then okay again place it on the schematic and you can do close or hit escape so that's the first part the second part we're going to search for is the tt motor so again up to place and we're going to do component search and this time we're going to i'm going to cancel because i didn't switch to the user database and I've put two devices there that I created. One is the TT motor and the other is the motor driver. So I'm going to do OK to that. We'll place that there. And then I'm going to add the motor driver and we'll place that here. And then close once you've added everything you need to. Next, we're going to search for our capacitor. And I can do that by coming up to place, component, and we can go to all groups, but this time under master database. And we should be able to find capacitors in here. So if I just look for capacitor, not electrolytic, and the value that we need is 0 0.1 microfarad. So we'll look for 0 0.1. This seems to be it here. Click OK. We're going to need two of these. So OK twice and then close. This time we're looking for a switch. So you come over to place, component, and I just searched for it previously, but I would search for DSWPK underscore four. It finds that, put it on the page, and we only need one of them, so you hit close. Here we're going to look for a fuse, place, component, we're going to do a search. It's going to be fuse. And we want fuse rated. And then OK to that. And this is where we can specify the value or eventually specify the value. So I'm going to put it on the page. We want a second one. And then close. And then I'm going to change the properties. So the properties of this one is going to be 2.5 amps. So we'll go to value and 2.5 amps. OK. And the other one is going to be 0 0.25. Value 0 0.25 amps. And I'm also going to change the reference designator. So this is going to be fuse one. So under label, change that to F1. And then this one is going to be changed to F2. So properties, value, sorry, label F2. There we go, we have the fuses. All right, let's add a diode so up to here, component, we'll do a search. It's a 1N4001. And there it is. And then we'll say OK. For now, we'll just place it on the page. And then close. I think there's only one diode. The next thing that we're going to do is search for a yellow LED and a red LED. So go up to place components. And one of the things that you can do is select the master database. And under the group, it tells you all the different types of things that we can look for. So I want to go to diodes. And in diodes, there's LED. And you can see there's a blue, green, infrared, red, and yellow LED. So I'm going to select red first. Put that one there. And then I wanted a yellow one. So 
go OK to that. And then I say close to that because those are the only two LEDs that we need. Potentiometers, which is right there, and we want a 10K. So that seems like the one I'm expecting. And it allows me to change the resistance, but actually ours is 5K. I'm going to change it to 5K. Put it here. I'm going to delete this one. Make sure you're selecting the whole part when you delete. And then I'm pressing the delete key. Same thing here. And then pressing the delete key, grabbing this and moving it around to where we want it. So that's great. We need a battery so up to place again, component. And let's say if we can find it in the list here. So this is most likely going to be under sources because it's a battery. Let's see if we can find any that are batteries. Let's see, power sources. Non-ideal battery. That's the one we want to have. Select OK. Put it on the page and we'll change the voltage. So close this. Right click to go to properties. And we want to change that to 7.4 volts. Then click OK. Place. And then there should be a place for text down here. And I'm just going to put my name. And today's date. And the course number. This is robotics. There we go. That's the text. Okay, and I can always move that around to change it later on. And then the next thing that we want to do is add a ground, and that one's pretty simple. Just click on this, and we want a ground, which this should work for us. Put it near the battery for now. But I know I'm going to need it in a couple of other places, so I'm going to put a few spares over here. You can always delete them afterwards. I find it easier to add a few spares, especially for grounds. Okay, I think that's all we need for that. We're going to need at least a couple of resistors. So I'm going to add that Come over to here. And we're going to look for resistors. That should be under basic. And we're already there, but we want resistors. So that's here. And the two resistors we need are both 1K, so we have that. I'm going to put it here and here. And I'm just going to hit escape to get rid of that placement. I think we also have to add a couple more capacitors. So one of the things that we can do is we can select this capacitor and do copy and then paste. And I need two of them, so I'm going to do another paste. And this is not the right one, so I'm going to right click on it and click delete. Now I'm going to place the components approximately where I want them in the schematic. And that's basically just a matter of dragging them. So click on the device and then you can move it around by just dragging it. So you have to click the left mouse button. So I'm going to want my battery a little bit down here. I'm going to need a fuse in series with my battery before it gets to the switch. And it's the 2.5 amp fuse. And I want to have the switch so that all of the lines are connected together. So what I'm going to do is draw a line. So you just click on the page and then click the mouse and it changes the direction. Click the mouse again and then eventually connect to that. And then I want to have three wires coming down to here. One. Uh, actually, I'm going to connect all four. I don't think I use all four, but I'm going to connect all four. And so I have that. Next, I want to connect the fuse to the battery. I don't need that window, so just drag it down. And this end of the fuse, just click the mouse and connect that. So I have that now. I'm going to move my device down here. I'm going to need a ground. Oops. 
I want to drag that down to here. It can be tricky. You want to make sure you're dragging that, put it underneath, connect a wire from there to there. There we go. And now the motor is going to be approximately here, according to my other drawing. This is going to be my voltage regulator. I need a ground for that. So I connect the ground, I connect a wire, and the voltage regulator is going to connect to one of the switches. So I'm going to connect a wire from here down to the switch. That's what I want. I'm going to need a capacitor 0.33. So I'm going to move that capacitor over to here, but I want to uh, change its position. So I right click on it and go to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. There we go. Now I can connect this to here. There we go. And I'm going to put another ground on that capacitor. I like to leave a gap and put a wire. So there we go. We need to have a fuse in series with the regulator. So I'm just moving some parts out of the way. And the fuse is down here. And I'm going to connect a wire to it. So just left click the mouse. And then that has to go to our red LED and a resistor. I'm just going to move this over. And I wanted it to the red LED, which I think is LED one. So let's move that over to here. And then we're going to connect a fuse to that and to this. And then I can also change the label here. So go to properties. And the label says LED one, but let's say LED one underscore red. And that's being used for VCC one. So that marks it off. That's great. And then that needs a ground. Oh, but before the ground, we need a resistor, a 1K. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Put it in the middle of this. Connect two wires from here, here to here, and then from here to here. You can even zoom in if you want, but that's fine for now. And we need to put another capacitor across the voltage regulator output. We need to rotate it 90 degrees. That seems good. We'll connect it. We'll put another ground. Probably going to run out of ground, so we'll eventually add some more. We need to change the value of this capacitor to I think it's 0 0.33. So we go to value and we can search by this list. We need 0 0.33. 33 microfarad, so that's okay. The next thing that we need, and I might need to move some of these parts over. So what you can do is highlight all of these and then just drag it over. I think that did the job. So the next thing we want is to connect that capacitor. We did, and then we need a capacitor across the motor. So let's try to do that. Over here a wire from there to there. Let's actually put it out here. Good. Put a wire from there, bring it out a bit there. And then this motor has to connect to out one and uh, out two. So I'm going to connect out one to one side and then out two to the other side. And there we go. We have the motor connected. The next thing that we need to do is we need to connect VCC1 to pin 16. So I'm just going to go to pin 16, put a wire here. It has to be obviously after the fuse, but that should work. And then we need to connect VCC2. And VCC2 is also going to go to an LED. I'm going to connect it to the second terminal of the switch so that when it gets closed, that's our VCC2. That's connected, and we want to indicate that we have power from VCC2. I'm going to put the fuse, or sorry, the LED here. I'm going to change it to properties and label. So it's going to be a yellow LED, and it's going to be for VCC2. 
we go. And we also have to put a resistor. Okay, I'm going to do it in a little bit different way. I'll put my ground here. So the resistor and that connection. So that's a lot of good things. The next thing I want to do is have a diode okay, that's going to go to my Arduino V in. And that's actually coming from here. I'm going to connect my third switch and down to here, down to here. Sometimes it doesn't go where you want, but I've connected it to the LED or sorry, to the diode. And then this diode is going to go to V in. Now let me show you how we're going to connect it so that we don't need to add a lot of wires. So what I'm going to do is add something called an uh, off page connector. So I go to place connectors and sorry, it's called on page connector. I'm going to put it right about there. And I'm going to call it Arduino V in and then say, okay. And so it looks like that. And then I can connect a wire from there. If you don't like the way the wire looks, just press escape key up to here. And so it's telling me that this is going to go to V in of my controller. So I have that part done. Now I want to connect the variable resistor and one side of the variable resistor goes to the plus five volt supply. So we can put that right there. The other side is going to go to ground. So let me show you another way to copy that ground. You select it, right click, copy, and then you can do paste. And let's paste maybe a couple more. We will need them. And one more. So we have some spares over here. Connect the wire to this. And this third terminal is going to go to an on page connector. So place. And uh, it should be connector, not in this menu. So I go up to here, place connector on page. And this is where we want to connect that to Arduino A0. Okay to that, and that's connected that for us. So we've got a lot of this done. We've got our two LEDs, two resistors, fuses, switches, voltage regulator, getting close to being done. All right, I've moved things slightly around because I want to add two grounds. So I'm going to move this ground and this ground, and we want to connect it to Ground here, let's move this one over a bit. Second ground, that's not what I want. There we go, oops, there. And then we also need two more grounds. Like I said, we always need grounds. So I put a whole bunch on the page while this is open and I find it easier to delete it. So I always add a few spares, close that. And now we need two grounds for the other side. Pretty much the same thing. Put it over here. And this is ground three. Connect it, ground four. And I'm actually going to move things when I hook this up. That makes it look a little bit better. And maybe we can move this ground down to here. That makes the appearance a bit better. Okay, and the next thing that we have to do is to connect some signals to the enable in one and in two. And so to do that, I'm going to add some off page connectors. So right click. Like I said, I don't think you can do it there. So it's back to place connectors. I might have said on off page, but it's on page. So we're going to call that Arduino pin two. Okay. And we're going to connect the enable to that. And 
I'm going to move this over because we need space for something else. We're going to have another on page connector. So place connectors on page. And there's even a control key, control alternate and O for on page. So if you want to speed things up, you can do that sometimes. So this is going to be Arduino pin. We'll call it 30 and there must be underscores. There can't be spaces in the connector names. Okay, and we place that there. We'll go up a little bit and we'll place this pin. That's right where we want it. And then we're going to need one more down at the bottom. So place connector on page. We'll put it here. And we'll call it Arduino 31. Let's edit that in 31. We can even put an underscore there, make it a little bit more clear. And then OK to that. And we want to connect that to in two. It's a little bit of routing to get there. Just clicking the mouse every time you make a, a change. Okay, so that's Arduino pin 31. I'm going to fix up the reference designator. So for my motor, I'm going to call this, I'm going to properties, reference designator, and I'm going to call it motor one. And it is the front left, but you need to have underscores there. So let me fix that motor one front left. And that's fine. This we're going to label u two because we have u one here call this U2. U is the designator for an IC. So we've done that. LED one is good. LED two, diode one, switch one. Battery here, fuse one, fuse two. What about the resistors? We have a couple of resistors. Let's call this R1, R2, R3. That's fine. And we do have our name here. Let's put it in the center. If you want to change the size or color, you're able to do that as well. 